everyone! Welcome back to Dreamy Writer's Tarot. So for today's episode, we're going to ask the cards and the spirit guides, what, the, what do other people think of you? Okay, how do others see you? And then uh, later on, we'll ask um, the cards further. So over time, um, what will people think of you? Now, in front of us here, we have three piles to choose from. So we have pile one, which is the orange incense um, cone along with the green card which is the good tarot deck and then for pile two we have the purple incense cone okay which is the mystic monday tarot deck and then for pile three we have the pink incense cone which is the light seer tarot deck okay so I'll give you time to choose which cone or which deck calls out to you the most and then when you're ready, let's get started with pile number one. Okay, so hi pile one. If you've chosen this orange incense coat, this reading is for you. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here for the tumbler. Tumbler? Thumbnail. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so for the first card, we have the messenger of fire. Okay, sorry about the toil noises. I think you saw something. And then we have the Three of Air. Okay, so this is the Knight of um, Wands in other decks. And then this is the Three of Swords. And then we have Call or the Judgment card. We also have the Queen of Fire. Okay, so for some of you, you guys may be an, um, a fire sign. So that's an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. But if not, uh, this simply means, you know, um, more on communication. So with that, um, how do others see you? What do they think of you? Okay, I believe that they they see you as someone who is very vocal, someone who is very strong. Okay, so um, someone who likes to express their thoughts is unafraid to say what's on their mind. Okay, so this is, um, well, we have the Queen of Fire in the last card, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this is for women alone. So this could be also for men, so the gender is uh, very open. But regardless, this is someone um, who likes to express their opinions. Okay, so someone who is fearless in speaking up. Okay, someone is very strong. And then with the Tree of Air, this also signifies that uh, you are someone who can um, handle very painful emotions and um, someone who's actually ironically not very open about it with other people so you like to be seen as someone who's strong someone who's capable so you tend to hide your feelings to yourself negative emotions to yourself in uh, fear that others may see you as a weak person because of this so there's actually nothing wrong with expressing your emotions but yes uh, i do I did learn over time that you have to be careful with um, who you share these feelings, these thoughts, these emotions with. Okay, so yes, um, but yes, that is correct. Okay, um, keep your feelings to yourself. But of course, op- uh, choose the right people. Choose the right people to trust Okay, um, yourself with whenever you open up. And then with the call card... I believe you're someone who people like to go to for advice, you know, uh, whenever they're a bit indecisive about something, people like to ask for your opinions, okay, and then um, maybe someone people like to listen to, okay, so it could be, well, I'm seeing more personal um, advice, but it can be about anything, it can be about um, choice of wear, I'm hearing fashion, also hearing um, something about posting social media love advice, so um, in terms of um, communicating, I believe this is your strength, so I'm, okay, I'm getting a message from the spirit guides that uh, some of you may be working in a communications related uh, field so this could be in marketing some of you may want or aspire to be a dj okay or a voice actor or um if not someone who likes to write so um or in journalism broadcasting so uh, whatever this may be your job or your choice of career involves communicating directly with other people now i'm going to draw more cards okay to see uh what else do people think of you so yes 
have one. He's very um, vocal. He's very open with situations. Okay, there you go. And then, yeah. So we have here the Queen of Water in the first. So yeah, so similar to the Tea of Air, um, you prefer to keep your feelings to yourself as much as possible. Okay, so this is not to say that I don't uh, know how to manage your feelings, but it's more of you wanting to solve them by yourself first hand. And then you only share it with other people once you really um, can't handle it anymore. Okay. So it's like you like that kind of um, in terms of your feelings. And then we have here... Oh, okay. Yeah, so you guys may really be um, an, a fire sign. Okay, so Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, with the three of fire, yes, uh, you tend to make friends very easily. So I'm sensing a very strong extrovert, um, energy extrovert vibe for you, pal one. And then we have here the eight of pentacles or eight of earth in the verse so uh what this could mean is that people may see you as someone who likes to um spend a lot of money okay so you guys may love to go out may love to uh, go out on drinks eat outside of restaurants or travel so so another thing that people could see you with is someone who you know likes to treat other people with um well, yeah, other, treat other people at lunch, you know, um, just so you could get together to know people. And then um, for the bottom card energy, we have Ace of Earth in the first. So what this could mean is that for you guys, uh, you may like things the way they are, or um, you may have quite some um, difficult time adjusting to change. Or it could also mean that, you know, um, you may be looking for a sign if you're, uh, if you should switch jobs i don't know I, I suddenly got that message so uh with that card in reverse it's saying no okay so stay <laughs> where you are in terms of your career in terms of your job okay you know, pull one more card okay yeah and then we have here the moon card so um in terms of how other people see you with the moon card appearing uh people may get a little bit confusing in terms of reading your personality okay so um this is not well yeah it's more of a confusion so sometimes um you tend to you know forget some things and then they turn inside the not so people may get that about you from time to time so there's some sort of confusion okay uh with how others see you at times or how others get you or it could also mean another message that i'm getting about the moon card is that um they sometimes get surprised when you do something you know it's like um they from time to time they tend to discover unexpected things about you. So this is your character. Then all of a sudden, um, they saw something that you did that was um, totally quite unexpected. And then, let's see here, the last card for you. Okay, the last tarot card for tarot one. And then we move to the oracle card. Okay, yeah. And then we have here the ease of water. So, you may... Okay, so this is much more of a prediction now. But for Palawan, I believe there's um, an incoming love in your life. Or you may be experiencing... Um, maybe meeting someone. You have someone in your life right now. Or uh, you're thinking of going, um, entering a new love venture. So, uh, whatever the case is, this is actually a sign for you to, you know, go on. <laughs> Okay, uh, explore that new love. Give that person a chance. This could actually turn out really great. Okay, now we let's see. Okay, about oracles. Okay, so I'm using the. Oh, I'm sorry, I got off key. Okay, I'm using the saints and angels oracle cards, and let's see what do they have to say about you know uh, how others see me. And I'm getting that for this card, whatever I'll get. It's much more of what other people wish they could tell you. Okay, yeah. So this is much more of a confirmation. Speak your truth. 
Thank you. Yeah. So you guys um, are really fearless in terms of giving out or uh, letting people know a piece of your mind. Okay. 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 We have two cards. Yeah. So we have here mother. So you guys may be the nurturing kind, okay? So you guys may like to take care of other people. That's why it's probably why you don't want other people to see your weakness. So that you know, whenever you see someone having a difficult time, you would want to be the one who is there for them, okay? And uh, this is also for men, okay? So motherly or much more of a caring nature, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean mother, mother, but you know, whenever you think of mothers, you think of people who are very loving, very caring. So uh, that could also be a nature or a lovable trait, actually, for men. Oh, and then we have here child. So, um, and it's funny because, you know, you get the mother and child in between. So uh, what I'm seeing is that you know although you love taking care of people you don't mind um you know caring for them whenever you need them uh deep inside you also have this feeling that you in turn would also like to be taken care of okay it's like um yes yeah, so you like to take care of people but at the same time you're looking for someone to take care of you as well okay Okay, so this time, let's ask the spirit guides, how do others see you romantically, okay, as a love partner? Okay, so, okay, here, okay, this is a shuffle them a bit. Okay, I think I get, okay, get one that fell. So, uh, we have here that go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, uh, yes, uh, you guys have a strong personality. You're very opinionated. Um, not really opinionated, no. Uh, but you like to express your opinions. Thank you. So, uh, with that, some um, romantic partners tend to see you as a dominant one in the relationship. Which is actually, um, you know, not really a bad thing. Because some people, they like to be submissive in the relationship. So there's that, okay. So let's see how else. What else do other people think of you on a romantic level? Okay. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. So I need one more card. Shuffling. Okay, there you go. And then we have here past life relationship. We have known each other before. Okay. So um. This may be a bit weird, but some people think that you still haven't moved on from a new love. Okay, so I'm guessing that's why the Ace of Cup, Ace of Water, yeah, I'm guessing that's why the Ace of Water appeared in your life. Okay, so um, you're being asked to let go of the past love that you've had, so that's what other people would want to tell you. Okay, to you know, consider other loves in your life. Thank you. And then, let's see here. Just one more card for the romance um, portion. Okay, one more. Oh, okay, there you go. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, uh, for you, pile one, this is much more on allowing okay, and you love to enter your love, okay? So, don't close off your heart to someone just because um, someone else didn't do you well, didn't serve you well in your past. So, the spirit guides are actually telling you that this could actually be a good thing. Okay, yes. So, it's much more on that. And the last card for the romance angels. Oh, okay. That actually flew. It's a very strong message. So, oh, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. So, uh, well, this is actually not a love reading, but, you know, um, this is probably much more in forgiveness, okay? So, whatever your person did, your ex did, your previous um, lover did, it's time to, you know, um, you know, time to let this go, okay? Time to start over a new life. But for you guys, I will draw one more card just to see what this could mean, Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that was also strong. It fell. Six of Earth. Okay, so it's much more about balance. Okay, so balancing things out, seeing 
if this is really something that you should go back to weighing things you know on a more practical level okay with the earth appearing okay we have here okay we have here the death card transformation okay so yeah the feelings are still there for you and people can see it okay that's why it keeps on appearing ten of water you still would like to you know uh, go back you still would like to go back but um with the ten of water it's i'm getting the message that you should listen to your family okay the advice here is to listen to your parents your family your sister or what they would have to say about this connection okay uh nine of water in the first okay it's saying that you know um <laughs> it might not end well okay it might not be as you wish there's a block with um how you would like this to turn out and you know it might not be favorable for you especially in the eyes of people who could see how um your relationship ended okay so yes that is it for us pal one i hope um this was able to help you guys and thank you so much for watching so i'll be posting you content like this um every week okay, although for the past two weeks i wasn't able to but i'll try it again this time better and anyway thank you so much for uh watching this video have a good day and i'll see you soon bye okay hi pal too if you've chosen the purple incense code this one is for you so let me just put it here okay so pal number two how do other people see it okay if i share okay we have here the world card and then we have the knight of pentacles we have the tower okay and then we have here the king of swords okay so pile number two how do other people see you okay so what i'm getting here is that people see you as a strong leader type okay someone who is you know complete in their life so this is regardless of um how you actually um evaluate or see yourself but uh, for other people what they see is that you know um you have it all made up what they see is someone uh who has everything going their way or you know um all aspects of their life are going great okay so uh people actually really regard you highly and they think that uh you have everything that you could ever at any person could ever want any person could ever wish for okay so that's other uh, impression of you and then with the knight of pentacles i'm seeing that they see you as someone um who knows um how to handle their money well or someone who okay, so someone who has enough resources okay or someone who knows exactly all how to handle their money okay i also get like the message that people um turn to you whenever they need money for a loan so there's that message okay and also yes um for some of you you may be working in the banking or in the financial industry okay so i'm getting that five from you um pile number two and then with the tower card appearing so I'm guessing that, you know, they see you as someone who is dependable in terms of making big decisions. Okay, so uh, you may be able to handle it well. Okay, you're calm. And also, um, they see you as someone, okay, uh, who is uh, full of surprises. Sorry, not sur- Well, not really surprises, but, you know, someone can, who can handle. <laughs> okay, there you go. Someone who can handle surprising okay um events and uh with the tower so never you see a tower you see someone high up you know people look at the tower uh with their head up so that's how they see they see you they regard you high they have a high regard for you and then with the king of swords okay beside the tower card it's saying that you know the king of swords is um someone who's very intellectual someone who's very smart someone who's very wise so this is whether you're a girl or a woman a man or um you know or a binary okay gender they see you as someone who is strong knowledgeable and someone who can um make big decisions so like a pretty much like a businessman businesswoman type 
Okay, so let's draw more cards to see okay, what, um, how, well, what more information about how other people see. Okay, so we have here the judgment card. Okay, yes, yeah, so someone who is able to make good decisions. Okay, we have here the five of wands. So they also see you as someone who is competitive. Okay, someone who enjoys a good competition. Okay, there you go. And then we have here the three of wands. So uh, this may be someone who prefers to do the job by themselves. You know, it's not that you don't trust people. It's just that, you know, you won't be satisfied with the actual um, results unless you do it yourselves. So that's what I'm getting from um, the pile two. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. Hermit. So we have here the Hermit in reverse. So um, I'm guessing that with this card appearing, it's like your guys are ambiverts. So, you know, um, you don't... Well, you would consider yourself an introvert, but there are times wherein you like to go out, you know, and express yourself, hang out with other people. Okay, so let's see here. How do people see? File 2, more info. Oh, okay, that was strong. If, um, okay, we have here the Ace of Pentacles. So, um, for you guys, you may be an Earth sign, okay? So, you may be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Oh, okay, that was strong. Yeah, and then we have here the Justice card. So, um... What I'm seeing is that, you know, over your emotions, you like to, you prefer to use your thinking, your logic, your brain over your heart. It's like uh, you guys are the head over heart kind of person. Okay, so you like to be objective about things. You like to balance it out. Okay, so you don't like to use your emotions in terms of making decisions. You're very um objective, you're very straightforward with that. Let's see here. Um, more cards. How else? Uh, how do other people see you? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have two. Pop up. Yes, balance. So we have two balance cards appearing. Okay. So you guys may also be an air sign. So that's an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Okay. You like to balance things out. Okay. You like to see things from both perspective. And then we have here the Two of Pentacles. So yes, pretty much like the Hermit card. And the Three of Wands. So, you know, uh, you're okay with working in a team. But as much as possible, you would like to work alone. Okay. Okay, and then we have, yeah. We have here the Chariot card. So, uh, you guys like to move a lot. Okay. You don't believe in uh, being stagnant. You believe that... um. Okay, so uh, you believe in growth. You believe that you should always be learning something, whether it's in a formal or an informal way. Okay, you like to expand yourself, expand your horizons. Okay, once you've mastered something, you want to expand it further, move along with it. Okay, so yes, uh, very nice. Tarot 2. Now, let's see um, one more tarot card. How others see you? okay that was strong slip this time then we have here the five of swords so um a lot of you likes to work hard likes to balance things out at the same time you guys may also be experiencing um stress a lot so with the five of swords appearing it's um giving you a message to you know give yourself a break from time to time okay um but it's also important to rest and also at the same time you know um this card is also I'm also getting the message that uh, since you prefer to do things alone, you may from time to time find yourself in conflict with other people because uh, you tend you may have this tendency to disagree or you know uh, push things, push for your own ideas. So with this card appearing, it's saying that uh, yes, you know it's good that you like to um, be hands on with some things, but at the same time, um, also consider the opinions of other people okay so there now this time let's ask the oracle cards okay so i'm using the saints and angels oracle cards okay so yes 
Let's see here. Based on the oracle cards, how do other people see you? Okay. Oh, okay. This card wants to pop out. Play music. Okay, so you guys may like music a lot. Okay. Or people may like your choice of music. Okay. So let's see. Strong more cards. Okay. Oh, okay. We have a sign from above. Okay. So, with this card, I'm getting the message that, you know, people will... Okay, let me show the Five of Swords. Okay, so, it's saying that, you know, uh, you also need to have a little faith in some other things. So, it's like you like to see things. Uh, first hand, you like to be able to plan things out. You like to be able to control or see uh, what the output would be. So, with this card, it's saying that, you know, um, there's also a message that uh, people would like to tell that from time to time, um, also look in to, um, you know, other things. Or, don't be stressed out about things that you cannot control. Oh, okay, marriage. Okay, this card appeared in the oracle card. Okay, so, um, yes, people would also see as a good um marriage material person okay now um with next card okay in relation to the marriage card we have the romance angels oracles so this time around let's ask the cards let's ask the spirit guides how do others see you romantically okay oh okay we have here release your ex the time has come to clear your energy okay so uh, <laughs> you know romantically people think you're still in love with your ex okay and they think that you should you know um just let this person go okay yeah wedding so um this is not a love reading but i'm getting a strong marriage vibe okay so if you guys are single you may be able to you may soon meet okay the person you're about to marry or if you're in a relationship you know um a higher level of commitment may be coming to you soon or if you're married uh, it simply means that you know um there's a okay the marriage is really strong okay the commitment of oh, level of commitment between both of you is um in equal to each other okay so one more card on how others see you romantically okay I'm shopping like for life hold on it's not okay oh th there you go oh attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yeah so people think you're attractive okay so they may be wondering you're attractive you're an attractive person okay how how, how other people see you is actually attractive you know uh, your marriage material so it's probably probably wondering why do you still you know think about your ex this is a compliment though <laughs> okay anyway um that is it for us file number two i hope you like this video and then if you do please subscribe to my channel i'll be posting new content like this every week so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye okay hi pal three if you've chosen the pink in sesco and this one is for you so put this here for the thumbnail and then um let's start with the tarot so for the first card we have the seven of cups and then we have the five of swords okay we also have the magician in reverse and then we have the hero fant okay so pile number three how do others see you okay so i'm um, getting the energy that um for this pile uh these are mostly young people okay so you may be um a teenager or uh probably within the teenage range so um like or 25 below so very young people okay but if not it's actually okay so um what do others how do others rather see you okay in general what i'm seeing here is that um people think that you're still a bit undecided about what you want to do with your life 
Okay, so with the Seven of Cups here, I'm seeing that um right now, um this may be your own um perspective as well, other people, but right now you're keeping your options open. So this can be about anything. This can be about a career. This can be about you know uh relationships or what you want to do in your life, basically or anything. So um what how others see is that you still haven't made a decision about which path you want to you want to strongly follow so uh you're keeping all of your available options open which is actually not a bad thing okay so i'm seeing that this has a, a major impact on you okay you're keeping your options open about a major life decision okay with the five of swords is saying that you know you guys may be really tired or stressed out right now okay so uh people see you as someone that you know um would need might need to take a break for a while and then with the magician card in reverse okay so um yeah people think that as of now um you haven't really maximized or fully um unleash your full potential so that's why um there's a strong youngish energy in here or if not you know um in general Okay, regardless of age, people uh, see you as someone with um, good potential about something. But for you, uh, you haven't really discovered what it is yet. Okay, that's why the energy is blocked. But it's definitely there. The potential is strongly there. Okay, and then with the hero fant. Okay, so with the hero fant in here, it's saying that uh, despite the first three cards, okay, people um actually admire your free spiritedness. Okay, people admire how you you know um trust with the flow with the events that are about to happen in your life. Okay, so uh they like your openness to experience. Okay, so it's very admirable. Okay, you guys are still free spirited. Okay, you still see happiness in spite of um, the uncertainties that are happening in life now i'm going to draw more cards for you guys okay and then um got the bottom card energy it has a strong energy so we have the four of swords okay so um it's a message okay similar to the five of swords about rest okay um people really um see you someone who might need to take a break okay from a while okay then we have two cards in here okay we have here the chariot okay so um this may have something to do with uh, decision making so um yes so we have here as you can see the cards okay we have two horses pulling the chariot we have the black horse and then the white horse okay so this actually represents certainty and doubt so pretty much like the seven of cups in here so you guys are still on the verge or in the process of making a big decision in your life okay but the way uh with this one in a how do other people see you reading is saying that you know things are still progressing with you okay so it's not that they're um closely watching with what's happening but you know um the way they see you things are about to you know change Okay, for you with the course of your life and then we have here yes you have the temperance card in the first so there's really a strong energy block in terms of um, the decision that has or that needs to be made okay now i'll draw more cards i'll see this time if we can get an insight on what this decision is okay so just give me a bit more time to get the energy okay so Oh, but look, there's a good news for you guys. We have the Sun card. And then we have here the King of Wands. So, okay, so what this means for you, Pile 3, is that, you know, uh, whatever decision that you're about to make, okay, um, it will be beneficial for you. And another main message here is that uh, whatever the decision is, okay, choose one that actually makes you happy. Choose one that gives you the most confidence, okay? Someone that uh, you will be able to live up with for the rest of your life. So, uh, those are the hints, so, okay? So, someone that would make you really, really happy. 
and someone that you know you can commit to you're confident you can live up to it for the rest of your life now um, i may have the other bottom card energy okay the six of swords i'm gonna get this for your pile so this also speaks about moving okay pretty much like the chart so you see you can see their directions they're both moving so you are at a very um not critical but crucial um milestone or point in your life okay so this really involves moving i'm not sure um for some of you this may involve uh, migrating or moving to another city moving to another country even okay let's see here let's see a few more tarot cards for you oh okay that was strong oh we have here the ace of wands yes it's actually about the beginning okay so whatever this decision is um pile three i feel like this has uh, something to do that would change your everyday life okay now with the ace of wands up type upright okay this actually means that whatever your decision will be uh, you will make a good one okay as long as you base it on what makes you happy and uh, someone that uh, you feel confident with there's also a message here for you guys to listen to the insight or to the advice of a male figure so this could be your father this could be um a mentor who is a male so uh, the message here is a strong male figure okay we have the world card in reverse okay so yeah, um, this simply means that uh, how others see you is that you know you haven't really decided, it. You haven't really you know talk uh talk thought about this through yet, which is okay. Oh, I love it! You have the nine of cups. So uh, and this is the last tarot card for you. Okay, before we move to the oracle cards, now this is actually a very loving card. Okay, you have the sun card and then you have the nine of cups. So as you see here, you know, uh, either way, you would get what you wish for. This is the wish card. Okay, so um, whatever this is, um, you will certainly don't have to worry. You will be able to make the right choice. Okay, so another confirmation is that make sure that this is um, something that you would also want for yourself. Okay, so this path would eventually would actually lead you to where you would want to be most okay beautiful now let's move to the oracle cards okay what do others see you or what do they want to tell you we have here division okay yes so consider uh your own self your personal goals your personal happiness okay what can make you happy in here it's also a clue okay for you to help on deciding with regards to this matter okay another card for pile three okay um you have it actually exploded quite a lot let me just repeat that it's a lot of cards for you but i need um two okay yeah oh lovely we have optimism okay so not to worry okay it will end well it will be well for you my dear oh okay okay this okay um this actually has a strong uh, message for you this card jump out and fell off okay we have be brave yes okay so things are gonna be okay for you pile number three you don't have to worry okay lovely cards now let's see for the next part how do other people see you as a romantic part okay so we have here flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others okay yeah so uh, as it is uh, which is not a bad thing so they um, see as someone who is playful someone who is fun okay to hang out with you know someone who is just open for light-hearted affairs so uh, this may have something to do with you know you devoting more time to this thing that you're trying to make a decision of okay yeah another thing let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others yes so um there's also a message to you know reach out to other people okay so this could also mean that you know um 
if you're thinking of um, considering an advice from a friend about a love situation, it could also be it. It could also be another um, another message for you to consider. How could your advice or, you know, I'm also getting the message that for some of you, a friend of yours is referring someone as a possible um, partner possible person so you know this is a message to you know maybe to consider this person that your friend is um referring to okay and not okay now i have two cards okay we have here make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay so yes um getting the message that you guys are flirts but uh, when it comes to a serious romantic relationship you may not be ready for it yet you may find it overwhelming and then uh, the last card we have here is forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past okay as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so um this may have to do um you being a flirt you know not making the effort for a serious relationship this may have something to do with you still being scared of what happened in your past relationships which is actually uh normal which is um okay all right but uh the spirit guides are telling you that eventually you will still experience that a good loving care in your life it may have it may not have been with the previous person that you've had but it definitely will um happen for you okay so that is it for us spell number three um thank you for watching i hope you like this video if you do please subscribe to my channel i'll be posting new content like this every week so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you soon bye